Hey everybody, Pastor Jason and Pastor Andy here with you on this Life, Life Change, Change Daily. Daily. And we bless you in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us again this morning. Yes, thank you. We have so been doing much. a teaching series all week called All In. Oh, man. We so began good. by talking about if any man is in Christ, Come on. he is a new creation. Come on. Old things have passed away, behold, all things become new. We spent two days on this, that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, yes. but mighty in God That's right. to the pulling down of strongholds, mm -hmm. casting down imagination. Listen, we'll do it again if I don't stop. <laughs> so I'm going to stop. Today, <laughs> uh, let's go back in. I know, we, we tried it. <laughs> we tried it. So I want to talk, we're going to talk the next two days about something so powerful. Mm -hmm. Something so powerful yes. that if we grasp it, Pastor yes, Andy, come on. if we grasp its power, mm -hmm. we there will not be a thing that will be able to stand in our way Hallelujah. ever again. Hallelujah. So I want you to see this right here. We're going to the book of Proverbs chapter 18, mm -hmm. and we're going to verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it. Yes, yes. And they... Are safe. Hallelujah. Pastor Andy, we have the opportunity mm -hmm. to run into Come on. the name yes. of the Lord. Yes. To run into the name Bless of the Lord. the Lord. Now, here's an interesting thing as at this stage, at this stage, the uh as as the, the writer of Proverbs here mm -hmm. is is putting this together. He is talking about the name Yahweh, mm. which was the name that God used as his as his covenant keeping yes. name. Yes. In the beginning, he was known as Elohim. Mm -hmm. He was often known as, as El. And that was that was uh, spoken over him very, very many times. Mm -hmm. uh, even the word uh, the, the name Eloah, which was was used in the book of Job. Uh, several times, mm -hmm. but there was a point that he began to reveal himself as Yahweh, mm -hmm. which is literally him saying, I am who I am. Mm -hmm. Come on. What he was saying is all of my promises yes. are wrapped up in that. Now, we have taken the name Yahweh, uh, and over the course of the years, uh, particularly when it when it hit the, the Latin uh the Latin language, it became Jehovah, or what we refer to as the name Jehovah. But God would attach itself mm. to several names. As a matter of fact, in this room where we're sitting right now on one of the doors, mm -hmm. there are some of the prominent names right. that he referred to himself, Yahweh Yireh, which is, which is the God, our provider. Yeah. Uh, uh, Yahweh Shalom, which is God, our peace. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yahweh Shama, Yahweh Sidkenu, always all these running down the line as he's giving us these things and saying, I promise to be all of these things in your life. Mm -hmm. The name of Yahweh, he is saying here, the name of the I am who I am mm -hmm. is a strong tower. The righteous can run into it and they are safe. He was letting them know that he was the Lord, their healer. He Come was on. letting them know he was the Lord, their provider. Yes. He was letting them know he was the Lord, their banner. He was letting them know that he was the Lord who fought for them. He was letting them know that he was the Lord that was more than enough. The Lord that was their peace. All the way down yes. the line, he was all of these things to yes. them. And that what he was saying here, the word of Pro the writer of Proverbs was saying here, you can run into that name Come on. and be safe. Mm. Yeah. You can run into the name and be safe. Pastor Andy, this is why this is why God says in Exodus 20, mm -hmm. do not take the name of the Lord in vain. Mm -hmm. Now, very mm -hmm. often for us, we we uh we we uh say, well, you know, that means that we don't say GD. Mm -hmm. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. For for most all of us, that's yeah. what we're saying is that is the, the breaking of that commandment. But vain comes from the root word vanity, which means emptiness. That's right. What he's saying here is don't use my name Come on. in an empty way. In an empty way. Use my name for the power yeah. that is behind it. That's right. Use my name for what is in it. Mm. I want us to see something so here. Good. If you'll turn with me to the book of Philippians <laughs> chapter 2. I uh, want you to really see this. So good. 
Now I'm going to read several verses because I want to get it to, but because I, I want to get it in the context of where we are. So, so Philippians chapter two. I'm going to begin reading in verse five. Okay. It says, "Let this mind be in you all, which was also in mm. Christ Jesus." Come on. There it is again. Who being in the form of God. Yeah did not consider equality with God something to be grasped. But he emptied himself, taking upon himself the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of man. And being found in the form of man, he humbled himself yeah. and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. So all of those things happening mm -hmm. leads us to this. Yeah. Therefore... God highly exalted him mm. and gave him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord yeah. to the glory Hallelujah. of God Hallelujah. the Father. So what he's Hallelujah. saying is, and in, in the writer of Proverbs was saying, was, was saying in there, the name of Yahweh mm. is a strong tower. Yeah. The righteous can run into it and be safe. Now, Paul is saying that God exalted him and gave him the name, which is above every name, mm. that in that name, every knee should bow. Mm. Now, Pastor Andy, what this means mm -hmm. is that everything now has to acknowledge yeah. him. Mm. Isn't wow. that powerful? Wow. That in that name, yeah. in that name, everything else is subject. Now, one of the things I want to mm. I want to bring out because the first thing is we're looking at everything outside of us first mm -hmm. of all. But Pastor Andy, the greatest enemy I fight, mm -hmm. as Bishop Jake says it, yeah. is the enemy mm -hmm. enemy. Yeah. Every, the greatest enemy I fight is right here. Mm -hmm. Our greatest battles begin between our ears mm -hmm. no and inside of our chest. No doubt. Our greatest battles begin inside of us. Yeah. Wouldn't it be wonderful to use the name of Jesus mm, come on. to make depression bow? Come on. Come on. To make anxiety bow, fear bow, pride bow, mm. lust bow, mm. confusion bow, yeah. uncertainty bow, poverty bow, hate bow. Yeah. Self-righteousness, bow. Yeah. The name of the Lord mm -hmm. is so exalted. Yes. Everything else has to bow. Everything. Everything. It has to bow to mm -hmm. the name of Jesus. This is what he says. Of those in Come heaven. On. Come on. Look. Yeah. Everything in heaven mm -hmm. has to bow to the name of Jesus. Mm. Every angel. Yeah. Every being. Mm -hmm. Everything that exists. It has to bow. Yeah. To the name of Jesus. That's why the Bible says. In the book of Hebrews. That angels are ministering spirits. Mm. Being sent to minister to those. Who are being saved. Mm. Why? Because they are subjugated mm -hmm. to the name of Jesus. Yeah. 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 Everything in heaven, everything on earth. Mm. This is why I don't get tossed up about who's in office. Come on now. Come on. This is why it doesn't mess me up. <laughs> this is why it doesn't mess me up. Yeah. By the way, this is this is why I don't care about watching Fox News or listening to talk on. radio anymore. Come on. And you say, oh Pastor Jason. You're, you're just, you got your head in the sand. Nope. I got my head in the word. Yeah. Yeah. And this tells me that everything on earth has to bow. Mm -hmm. Guess what else has to bow? Everything under the earth. Mm -hmm. 
that means that this devil that seems to be yeah. so tormenting and so powerful, mm -hmm. that that devil mm -hmm. has to bow to the name. Yeah. Just to the name. Yeah. Just to the name. The name. The name. The name. The name makes every knee bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God, yeah. the Father. Yeah. So I want us to see something really powerful here. If you will, turn with me to the book of Matthew 28. My God, we're talking about the name. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We're talking about the name. We wonder how in the world... How in the world we're going to reach the lost, Pastor Andy? Come on. Here's how we reach the lost. Watch Come this. On. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18. Then Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, mm -hmm. baptizing them mm -hmm. in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, even right. to the end of the age. This is what he's saying. Baptize them in the name. Yeah. Baptize them in the name. Mm -hmm. When Paul went to the Ephesian people and he said to them, have you received the Holy Spirit uh -huh. since you first believed? And, the, and they said, we've not even so much heard as the, of a Holy Spirit. He said, whose baptism were you baptized into? They said, into John's baptism. Mm -hmm. He said, John's baptism was a baptism of repentance, pointing to him who was coming after him, that is to Christ. After this, the Bible says, he baptized them in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when they laid hands on them, they were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues. Mm -hmm. When he's talking about baptizing us in the name, he is indeed talking about what we do in that tank full of water. Yeah. But what he's also doing is talking about a deeper thing. Mm -hmm. Get them in the name That's of the right. Father, right. in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. when, when, when the people in the book of Acts, after... Peter is preaching to the people in, in Acts chapter 2, and he's saying to them, he's saying to them, God sent his son Jesus, and you killed him. Days ago, you killed this man, mm -hmm. and, and it was your sin, though, that nailed him to the cross. Yeah. The Bible says that they were pierced to the heart. Yeah. They Come were on. pierced to the heart. They were convicted, and they That's said, right. brothers, what shall we do? Peter says, repent. And be baptized in the name That's of the right. Lord Jesus right. for the remission of your sins. Yeah. When I when I plunge my sins into the name, mm. my sins are now overtaken. Mm. Mm. When mm. I plunge my problems into the name, my problems are now immersed, enveloped mm. in the name mm. of Christ. Yeah. When I put my hopes and my dreams in the name, now they are enveloped mm. in the name of yeah. Christ. Yeah. When I put my destiny and my purpose in the name, now it is enveloped in the name of Christ. Pastor Andy, mm. we, there is power in the yeah, name absolutely. of Jesus. Absolutely. There is power yes, in Lord. the name of Jesus. Mm. There is a name. There is a name that is there. The Bible says this in the book of Acts that he gave him a name. The Bible says that there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. He has given him a name that saves us, yeah. a name that keeps us, yeah. a name that propels us, a name that protects us, yeah. a name that pushes us, a name that 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 envelops us. We are baptized. Mm. In the name. Yeah. My God. Yeah. In the name. I'm about to 
preach in here. <laughs> it's the name of Jesus. The yeah. name of Jesus. Yeah. We have the name of the Lord yes. at our disposal, Pastor Andy. Yes. We can yeah. use the name of the yeah. Lord to rebuke. Come on. Come we can on. use the name of the Lord to exhort. We can use the name of the Lord to influence. We can use the name of the Lord to build. We can use the name of the yeah. Lord to heal. Yeah. We can use the name of the Lord to teach because yeah. everything has to bow to yeah. the name of Jesus. Yeah. yeah. So many people, when they hear the name, they, they are thinking that, there's power in the name, but they don't quite understand to be in it. Yes, yes, yes. So when we're talking about being in it, I'm talking about being in the name. Mm -hmm. The covenant has been written. Yes, yes. The blood of Jesus signed it. Yes. <laughs> it made it applicable. <laughs> Come on. And it applies to me. Mm-hmm. The covenant applies to me. Mm -hmm. The new covenant mm -hmm. applies to me. Mm -hmm. Every promise applies to me. Mm -hmm. The curse has been removed mm -hmm. and the blessing now is applied to me. Mm -hmm. Sin has been washed away yes, and yes. righteousness now applies Come on. to me. Come on. Sickness has been taken ha. and healing now ha. applies ha. to ha. me. The, the, mm. the, he, he turned mm. around and, and he took my transgressions. He, he took my worry. He took mm -hmm. my shame. Mm -hmm. He took mm -hmm. all of these things and, and the, Everything of him now applies to me. Peace applies to me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, resources apply to me. Yes. Everything of his now apply to mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. in the name. Yes, yes. I can't go without my name mm -hmm. being applied mm -hmm. in his name. Yes, yes. See, I'm not getting it because of my name. Right. I'm getting it because of his name. Yes, yes. What what Pastor Jason's talking about. Mm. Being in the name. In the name. You can't go up mm. and turn around and say, mm. in the name of Andy Hosford, give me what Jesus bought. Right, right. That ain't going to do you any good. Right, right. You have to go up mm -hmm. and say, in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. whom I am of. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Who I am of, I am in him. Mm -hmm. Therefore, now I'm a co-heir. Mm -hmm. Not because I'm me using his name, yes. but because I'm me in his name. Yes, yes. See, it's, it's being under authority, mm -hmm. not in authority. Yes, yes. See, what Pastor Jason, I'm going to try to clear this up as, as good as I know clear how Pastor up, Jason. Clear it up, clear it up. You can't go into the courtroom of heaven demanding and bossing God around. Mm, that's right. That's right. And there was some false teaching that said we could do that. You can't do that. That's right. I, I don't care. You are a co-heir, but you ain't the boss. Mm -hmm. You can't go up in there bossing him around. Mm -hmm. But you can access things that are giving. Mm -hmm. That have been given yes. to you through Jesus. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. Now you are under authority, not in authority. Right. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> See, the difference is, is we have deputies here in our county. Mm -hmm. They are governing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. our region. Yes. Yes. They are governing the laws mm -hmm. of our region. Yes. Now, our deputies, a deputy can be hired two days from now. That deputy on the third day can go out there, mm -hmm. stand in the middle of a highway, mm -hmm. put up his hand and stop traffic. Yes. Yes. He does not have the power. Mm -hmm. to overcome a car. That's right. He, he doesn't have the power 
to overcome a car. Mm -hmm. He does not have the authority. Mm -hmm. But the authority that he's under. Yes. Yes. At that point in time gives him the ability to stand and say, in the name of the law. Yes. <laughs> stop. Yeah. And if you don't, and if you don't operate in that, in the book of Acts, it tells us about, about a time that there were these seven sons of a man named Sceva. Yes, sir. And the Bible says that they went to these demon-possessed people and said, in the name of Christ, whom Paul preaches, come out of him. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says that the demon slapped them naked and hid their clothes. <laughs> right. run them out. Yeah. I mean, slapped them naked and hid their clothes. Made an example. Made an example of them. Why? Because they were coming in an authority that they didn't have. And they wasn't under the authority right. that they were trying to use. So me and you can go stand outside and hold up our hand and traffic may or may not stop. It won't. I am not under the authority. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm not under it. Right. But let me tell you, if I have mm -hmm. been made a deputy, and I go and stand, mm -hmm. and that traffic don't stop, mm -hmm. all the authority, mm -hmm. not only of Butts County, mm -hmm. but of Georgia. Yes, yes. And if it gets too out of hand, of the nation yes. will come down on your one foolish decision yes. of simply not stopping mm -hmm. when I put my hand up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not only the authority of mm -hmm. Butts County. Yes. But the authority of the state, mm -hmm. and if you just keep going, mm -hmm. and you cross state lines, yes, you'll catch the attention of the nation, yes, and the authority of the nation will come down. What am I saying? What I'm saying is things are not happening because you're in authority. Mm -hmm. Things will happen because you're under, under authority, authority. Yes. and as you're under authority, all of a sudden you get to be. In the name, mm -hmm. in the name yes. of Jesus, yes. in the name of the yes. law, yes. it has no fear right. of you. Yes, yes. It has the fear of what you're under, the mm -hmm. authority you're under that has already defeated yes. it, that has already sealed the deal, that has already overcome it. Yes. That's what it is terrified of. Mm -hmm. That's what it is um, absolutely will bow to, yes. as, as you were saying. Yes. Every knee will bow mm -hmm. to the name of Jesus. Yes. But you got to be under mm. that authority. Mm. you got to be in him mm -hmm. under that authority. Mm -hmm. When I'm under that authority, yes. I am not mm -hmm. doing my own thing. That's right. Pastor That's right. Jason, I am not out there mm -hmm. about me. Yes. I'm yes. all about yes. him. Yes. And that's being under mm -hmm. the authority. I'm not telling him what I want him to do. Mm -hmm. He tells me what he wants yes. me to do. Right. I'm under right. his yes, authority. Sir. Yes, sir. So we're going to pray for you today. Hallelujah. I feel the spirit mm. of the Lord here. Hallelujah. And we're going to pray that there becomes a, in your life, that, that there becomes a revelation of the power that you have available to you in the name. Some of you are going to go around your house today and you're going to invoke the name of Jesus Come over on. bedrooms. Come on. Come on. You're going to invoke the name of Jesus over pictures. Come on. You're going to invoke the name of Jesus over, over, over jobs, over cars, over, or over bank accounts. I'm telling you, Come on. you can you can grab your checkbook today. Yes. Listen, I know it sounds like foolishness. Grab your checkbook today, and tell and tell it yeah. in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, my finances are going to come into alignment. Yes. 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 You can do it. Yes, you can. You can do it now. Now, what's going to happen is, is that when when you do that, then mm -hmm. then every part of you is going to come into alignment. Uh -huh. But what we're going to do is we're going to invoke the name of Jesus. So, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let all of us yes. have an awareness, Thank not only to use your name in an empty way, but God, when the time comes and there are strongholds, yes. 
There are issues. Yes. There are problems. There are yes. sins. There are circumstances. There yes. are there are impediments. There yes. are mountains that cannot be overcome. Father, let us ball up the name of Jesus Christ and throw it at those things, Almighty God, and watch them fall, God. Watch them fall, God. Let us recognize the authority that we have in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us recognize the power we have in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us recognize, Almighty God, God, the purpose of the name of Jesus Christ. Let all of us who are your people be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the name of the Lord for us be a strong tower and let the righteous run into it and be saved. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We bless you today in the name of the Lord. We'll be back here tomorrow to talk more about this name. We can't wait to see you. God bless. Hey, everybody. Pastor Jason here. We want to thank you for joining us for today's devotion. Remember to share it across your social media platforms. If you live in the South Atlanta area or the North Macon and Forsyth areas and you are looking for a great church where the power and the presence of God are on display, we would love to have you visit us at our Revival Center campus in Locust Grove, Georgia, or our Forsyth campus in Forsyth, Georgia. You can find information about these locations at our website, AbundantLifeChurch.com. Remember, it's time to stretch yourself. It's time to dream bigger. It's time to believe for the impossible. It's time to expand.